to uh, help you guys learn rolls and like uh, begin the process of learning the barambola is going to be just a basic rolling back attack. Okay, it's not necessarily basic. It's pretty easy. I do it from a lot of positions, but this is probably one of the easiest. Okay. So when I'm in the back, on the back, and the person tries elbow escape. They usually like what? They trap one foot right here. And now his next step is to go to half guard. Right? He's gonna try to half guard. So this is what we call quarter guard. Because he's only got one small piece of my leg, it just has my ankle. But my knee's still in. Okay? So here's all we're gonna do from here. When this happens, Alex has to lift his hips and get onto his other hip. Everybody understand that? So when Alex gets here, I'm just gonna pressure down. Now it's really tough for Alex to lift his hips and anything like that and get to full half guard. Then I'm gonna pick up my left leg. My right hand is gonna guide through this space and my right foot's gonna kick him over into the back position. Essential movements for you to make a barren bowl work. Okay, it's one of the essential rolling sweeps, right? We see this uh, core movement in the twister, in the truck position, a lot of the Eddie Bravo game. We see some of this, okay, this rolling back attack. This using our legs to rotate our opponent's hips to put us in a better position. Everybody understand? Because intrinsically, I kind of already am there. I'm just not behind him. I'm more on top of his hip. So this roll creates the opportunity for me to adjust my body's position and get behind him, chest to back. One more time. So we call this a rolling back attack, and they're done from a number of different positions. But one of the fundamental ways you can get there is when you're in the mount, attacking, and somebody does elbow escape, and they get just the quarter guard in. Okay, so obviously they're going to continue their movements, so you have to shut them down. So I get two hands and I shut the person down. And I start to stand up, almost like I'm doing knee on belly. Right? I'm almost in like a knee on belly position. And it's a lot of pressure. I want to make sure there's a lot of pressure and slow them down. Now, quickly, I'm going to shoot my hand through and use my right foot that's hooked, hooking his thigh to kick him over the top. One. Two. Now, some people use the right foot to help, the left foot to help. And I adjust a little. Now, when I land here, does it matter that I don't get two hooks right away? No. Why not? Because I have bottom hook. No problem. I can lift. Cross back to the hip, and I can stay tight here from the seat belt. Make my second hook whenever I'm ready. Everybody understand? Basic rolling back attack. And this is going to be integral in us getting to the bare roller position effectively. Okay, last time. And this time I'll show like a, a little trick from there. Mid roll, you can always catch a um, cast off. Sure, okay. gas riser, but I'll continue to roll. So from here, as he starts to break, I get pressure. Now my pressure is so devastating with my right shin on his thigh that I'm keeping that leg to the mat. So even if Alex wants to, he can't get his hip off the ground. I'm smashing it to the ground. One, two. Now the kill the calf slicers here. See how when I'm kicking him over. Grab his ankle, grab his toe. Make my triangle and pull his foot. And I can finish with the calf slide. If I want to continue, put my foot on my ankle bone, continue to kick. And notice, I don't try to sit up or anything. I kick him all the way to where I want him. Here I can finish. 
Okay. Rolling back attack from elbow escape when someone gets you a quarter bar. Okay. You guys can add the calf slicer. I don't think it's legal in IBJJF, but it's legal in like non uh, all white trash. Now. 